It's the PacWest Spotlight with veteran VIU Mariners guard Amber Lee. Hi, Amber. Hey, Ryan. How are you? Veteran. Is, is it okay? Can I call you one of the, the older people in the league? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely an oldie on the squad. <laughs> so. You're finally back on the court. I want to talk about this season in just a sec. But what was it like not playing last year? COVID canceled the whole season. You, haven't, you hadn't played since March of 2020. And you were supposed to hold nationals. You didn't host nationals. Then you didn't play. What, what was it like not playing? Um, you know, my journey was a little bit different than most of the girls on our team um, from the States. So I went home um, when we found out the season was canceled. I had quarantined uh, two weeks and the day I got out, they canceled the season and last year. So I decided to go home. And at that time I was done. I was not going to come back. Um, I was just going to graduating. I graduated this last year in June. And I was kind of ready to hang it up. And uh, I came home, I got to coach with my mom. um, And I coached my younger sister. And I kind of just missed it a bit. And there was a little bit of some talk that we're going to host a tournament again. And I had another year of eligibility. And I just kind of walked into practice one day. And it was like the first time I'd been in a gym since the season was canceled um, during COVID and just kind of a lot of emotions hit me all at once. And so I think just showed me how much I missed it and how much I wanted to play again. So being able to play games now is just kind of gone full circle. And it's um, quite a blessing, I think, just to be able to go out and have a game and rather just go into the gym and shoot and go against the same girls every day in practice. So it's nice to see something new and fresh. That emotion must have been pretty intense when you, because you've played all your life. You're from a basketball family. You've been around the game all your life and then not playing. Just going into that gym must have been so overwhelming. Yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was a lot. So the first, um, it happened in January of this, of 2021. And I was visiting a friend in Idaho because in Oregon, we were really shut down. So there was no, um, games or practices or anything and I was visiting an old teammate and she was helping coach and I walked in to the gym and was just watching practice I mean I was just watching a a junior varsity team practice and I was like oh like what am I doing like why am I just you know sitting here like some of my best friends are still playing they've decided they're coming back um we should be really good again there's talk that we could host an actual tournament like, is this really what I want? Like, do I really want to start being an adult now? Or, you know, or should I still have some fun? And I remember calling my mom and I was like, am I doing the right thing? Like, am I, should I, should I not play? Like, I, I feel like I should. And she's like, well, obviously like your dad and I will totally support you and we're excited for you, but it's up to you and it's up to your body. And, um, and then the next few days, I thought about it a lot. I called Tony. I called Coach Bryce. And um, he was, <laughs> I think, a little taken back. I think he was a little excited. And he um, kind of was like, OK, I'm going to give you a few days to really think about this. And then we'll talk about it. And I was like, OK. So he gave me a few days. And I, my heart hadn't changed. I still was, if anything, I wanted it more. Mm-hmm. And uh, we talked on the phone for a bit. And he kind of, you know, went on his little tangents like he does sometimes. And then he goes, but if you want to come back, like, I'll make it happen. He's like, well, we'll make it happen, Amber. And I was like, all right, coach, I think this is what I want. Like, I, wow. I'm coming back. He's like, all right, let's go. <laughs> and then <laughs> after that, it was kind of like full board. And I'm really grateful and, and glad that I decided to do that. And I mean, if I wasn't playing basketball, I'd be working and being an adult. And that's no fun compared to what I get to do right now. So (laughs) it's no fun at all. And and I know coach Bryce is happy you're back. The whole Mariners family, I'm sure is happy that you're back. What's it like now you're eight games in, we're here at the Christmas break or exam break. This team is undefeated. Are you where you thought you would be coming into this year? Um, Honestly, I think um, we have a lot of work to still do and, a lot of work to get better and be uh, where we all want to be. Um, I do think we are strong enough team. And I think we know that, that 
we should be at the front of the pack. Um, I think that there is a lot of improvements that we still can make moving forward because the big games are yet to come and are still a ways in the future. Um, we actually get to, we get to play two Alberta teams right after Christmas, which will be two big games for us and get to really tell us how good we really are and kind of um, let us see what we can expect and what we can still continue to work on moving mm -hmm. forward. What are a couple of those things? Because from the outsider looking in, this team's 8 no on top of the Pac West standings. What do you got to work on? So obviously internally, there's some team improvements. What are those things? Yeah, we have to get more fluid in our offense, I think, um, and trust uh, trust the process. Um, even though we are we're um, a pretty heavy veteran team, I would say, we still have quite a few newbies um, that are still getting adjusted and learning the offense. And I, you know, there's some of us that have ran the offense now for, you know, three to four, four years. And then there's others that are just starting to learn it and have only been running the offense for two months. So I think, um, you know, closing that gap a little bit and making sure that we're all on the same page as to what we want to do there. And then defensively, we can always get better. Um, I think, uh, rebounding is always huge for us and just being good one-on-one -on -one defenders um, with our man um, so I think going in to the second half those will be our big focuses just getting being that veteran team that we are and making sure that we stay poised and um, calm I think moving forward. Coach Bryce added a veteran and maybe he added her wasn't sure if you were coming back, but Chloe Skaber came in, coming over from the commotion chargers. She ran the offense with the chargers now helping out on the backcourt with the Mariners. Is she pushing you to, to get better as well? Oh yeah, definitely. Chloe is, Oh, Chloe is such a character. I love her. <laughs> um, which is kind of funny because, you know, for the Chloe was a rookie, her rookie season was my first uh, season in the league. Right. And uh, she, <laughs> she's so funny. She she told me um, and, you know, we have to guard each other against, you know, in commotion and VIU. We have a good rivalry, the island rivalry. And sure. she's like, Amber, I did not like you when I was at commotion. <laughs> and I was like, Chloe, it's OK. It goes both ways. <laughs> yeah. It goes both ways. And I'm so grateful that she um had decided to make the transfer and come to BIU. I think she's a huge ad for us. Um, she's had a few great games and she is um, one of the most best character people I've ever met. She is just so funny. You mentioned you play a couple of Alberta teams coming out of the Christmas break, or at least during the Christmas break. And then you go on the road when Pac West conference starts again in January, you're on the road for the entire month. What's that going to be like getting off the Island every single weekend? You know, so I think one thing that coach and I had talked about too, which was kind of rough in our preseason is we didn't travel at all in the mm -hmm. preseason. And uh, usually we have at least one, maybe two away trips and I think um, those away trips is kind of where you really build team chemistry and you're able to really form together outside of the court. And so I think as a group, we're kind of looking forward to that in January, um, being able to, you know, be on the road together and have movie nights in the hotel and play games on the ferry. And um, our girls are very studious. And so they are always jamming homework and <laughs> studying for tests. I mean, it's nonstop. Uh, it's kudos to the team. But so I think that'll be good for us to be able to come together and um, just have that time away. Uh, and, you know, instead of us all going home to our homes after a home game, we're going home to the hotel together. We're having more team meals together. So I just think as a whole, that'll just make us stronger in the end. Well, the ultimate goal, obviously, the Pac West Conference gold medal, and then hosting the Nationals. You know you'll be hosting. It's uh, kudos to the CCAA for allowing the NIMO and VIU to host this tournament that was supposed to be hosted in March of 2020. Uh, now, you came back. One of the reasons you came back was to be part of this tournament. How do you not look forward to that tournament too much? Obviously, you're looking forward to it, but not 
overlooking your competition in the Pac West because you you do know you have that berth in the CCAA Nationals. Yeah, totally. I think, you know, I think at times um, that gets lost. And I think we do uh, look forward to that because it is, you know, it's something that we've talked about for two years. I mean, we were uh, ready to go uh, right before COVID happened on week before the tournament was supposed to start. We were hosting ready, you know, and so I think as especially as us group of veterans, me, um, Chase and Kira Johnston, I think like for us, there's nothing sweeter than for us to be three time Pac West champions um, before we start that journey, because in all honesty, those are two different seasons and we got to finish the first season before we get to the second one. Well said. Speaking of seasons, it's the holiday season. What happens in the Lee's family during the uh, Christmas holidays? Yeah, well, so as I said, my mom is a girls, head girls basketball coach at the high school I graduated from. So right now we're busy <laughs> with basketball. And then uh, we always do a big Christmas um, get together with the cousins and stuff. Uh, this is before Christmas at my grandma's. So we'll be doing that. And then usually we all, um, a good tradition that my parents have done is me and my sisters always get matching pajamas. So I think we're looking forward to the matching pajamas and getting to sleep in and we'll make some kind of breakfast casserole on Christmas day. Sounds amazing. Thanks for doing this. Have a great holiday season and we'll catch up with you in January. Great. Thanks Ryan.